<laughs> anybody can get them. No, but they can be ordered, and uh, yeah, the the vet orders them, and you know they clean out the wound and and use them. Ten or twelve years ago, they were put use, using these medical mags on everything. It seemed like, and I don't see as much of it now as it, I did. But uh, they went through a phase when that first started going that it's like everybody's let's use medical maggots. Some people do, some people don't. Um, the cases I've been involved in, we've gone back in and and removed tissue as we needed to. Um, I would I, I would assume this would be safer because you're it's only removing the dead part of. Well, the, the idea is to be, to, to do the least evasive. Right. Way possible. And, uh, you know, these do, you have to go in there and, and, you know, these do leave maggot goo in there. And so they have to go in every couple of days and clean out the maggot goo and, <laughs> and not disturb the maggots and kind of leave them in the hole and let them do their thing because, uh, you know, they're, they're cleaning it out. How long would, in this little hole right here, and this is part of this whole entire x ray series that we have going on here. Right. It's, and the, in that, fact, and it, it actually wasn't from the nail, it was from the, the, and, and from now, this. now, when the horse ripped the shoe off, was that area damaged? Possibly, because it, you know, uh, if, as far as that goes. Okay. Uh, but the nail itself was not into the area that was infected. It did bend the shoe down real hard, and the horse landed on it. And, and that could have that could have right, cracked the bone, cracked the bone, bruise, bad bruise, start or something. How long do you leave the maggots in there? Is this like a leave them in there for an hour? Do you leave them in there for a couple oh, of minutes? Be, they'll be in there for. Probably a couple of weeks. Okay, so the, you put the you put the maggots in there, and then you put the boot over the, the maggots. maggots. Put the bandage on. Okay. Put your galls over it. Bandage it. Put it in the boot and bandage the boot on. Then a couple of days, you can take the elasticon off, pull it out, uh, clean out what you need to clean out, and then uh, make stir fry. Make stir fry exactly, <laughs> and then put it back on, and then you keep on, and you're going to have to make sure. The wound isn't draining and and all that. Don't don't let it close up till it's, everything's drained out and um, and deal with it. So what what's the latest on this horse right now? I had spoke to them and I saw it went by for a visit mm -hmm. after the fact and um, I have not been in communication with Sean at this point. Okay. Um, as far as you know, the horse is doing okay. As far as I know, uh, or you don't know. Well, what I do know is they did end up doing an infusion you know, where they inject a inject a antibiotic directly into the leg uh -huh. and do an antibiotic infusion a couple of times because apparently it re-erupted 